Welcome into Drew Silly Diamond NFL Edition Sunday, October 13th, week six in the NFL. Got a three pack of plays coming your way. Let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. Your NFL picks for today all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got Sundays rolling here, guys. Going to start off 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern in the Big Easy. We get a division battle here. Tampa Bay Bucks, New Orleans Saints. 41 in the hook being the total. Tampa Bay minus three. Minus three in a hook at a lot of shops, though. As uh, the Derek Carr injury news comes out, he's likely to miss here. Jake Hayner going to be taking snaps for the Saints. Not a guy I'm really looking to bet on. That 2-0 start for the Saints. Uh, It's long gone here as injuries, not only at the quarterback position, on the offensive line, the defensive front. This is a banged up team on a short week. Uh, Plus, they got a Thursday night, a Thursday night game next week. So this stretch for the New Orleans Saints, it actually might carry over into next week as well, looking to go against them. And Tampa Bay on the other side. Yes, they did lose last week. Tough one to the Falcons, but. The last time they lost, earlier loss in the season, they bounced back well. I'd look for them to do that again. Also, keep in mind with the hurricane coming through Florida, uh, the Bucks actually left Tampa Tuesday this week. So very early for an NFL team to leave uh, for the away game. I actually look at that. I know a lot of people think, you know, it messes everything up. It might, but I actually personally look at that from a handicapping standpoint, like a team building experience. I would look for him to come out ready to rock here. Head coach uh, Todd Bowles, he, he he's a guy I like. I, I think he's actually a good coach in the NFL. I know a lot of people don't. I like Todd Bowles. I think he gets them ready to go. Quarterback advantage here. Hey, three is still available. Um, three and a hook. Obviously don't like it as much, guys, but it is the Buccaneers. Minus three, the low watermark. I would pay the juice if you, uh, if you need to. It's minus 118 at most shops right now. So it's the Bucs over the Saints to lead us off got a client play gonna end it with another one here guys so uh yeah we'll hit the client play up next it's the washington commanders baltimore ravens also 10 a.m pacific one o'clock eastern kick here we're seeing baltimore minus six in the hook minus seven at some shops 52 being the total all right guys This Washington Commanders team, man, they are a money-printing machine offensively. I love the combination. Jalen Daniels at the quarterback position, Cliff Kingsbury. If you're a college football fan at all, you could kind of almost see this recipe making for uh, a good thing to bet on offensively in the NFL. Daniels, you know, the former Heisman Trophy winner, he's a guy that can make plays with his feet. He's accurate with the football. And Cliff Kingsbury – yeah, as a head coach, he didn't cut it. But um, a lot of times, the, these offensive coordinators, they dial it up and they get the right quarterback behind them. Uh, it, it could be a money-making experience here. And sure enough, they're averaging just under 40 points a game the last three contests. And now going up against the Ravens defense that, yes, you know, overall statistically a good one. A lot of people would kind of put the Ravens defense up there with some of the best in the NFL But just last week, there were some cracks in that Ravens defense. I mean, they let up almost 40 points themselves to the the Cincinnati Bengals. That's a one-win Bengals team that gave this Ravens defense all kinds of issues. So I could see them having their problems here. We get a a pretty high total. It's up over 50. The market's telling us there's going to be a lot of points. I think this goes back and forth. And I think that back door's open. That's always something I love in the NFL, you know, with a, a you can almost kind of project this. You'll see sometimes guys like people are like, oh, a bad beat. You know, the team I bet against came through the back door. No, no, no. You got to handicap that kind of stuff. And sure enough, I think the commanders fit that bill here. I think they could win outright. But um, for the show, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if it does come down to the end and, uh, you know, Baltimore wins. Washington keeps it within the number, possibly even a a, a late minute touchdown at the end to slip through. So uh, we'll keep that in our back pocket. We're jumping on the commanders plus seven out there available. It's at DraftKings right now. So we're on the commanders to stay within seven of the Ravens. Got one game left for you. Let me know in the comments below what your NFL picks are for today monday night football if you're looking ahead we got a big one with what the bills and the jets it helps out the algorithm anything is welcome feel free to fire away any questions smash that like button if you're liking the content we got premium picks up and available wagertalk.com the all-inclusive deal guys over 500 off through new year's eve we got uh nfl 
college football, major league baseball playoffs, college basketball right around the corner. You can get them all for that discounted package through the rest of the calendar year. All right, we're heading to Lambeau Field for the last game on Sunday. A little Drew's Daily Diamonds NFL Edition primer. We get 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific kick. The Arizona Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. 47 being the total. Looks like pretty much across the board. It is the Packers minus five-point favorites. I have my questions about Jordan Love. I really do. I think turnovers-wise, I mean, he had a great year last year. But coming into this season, I, I, I need to see a little bit more from him. I mean, the Packers did beat, what, the Rams last week? But you got to keep in mind, the Rams are really beat up right now. So I wouldn't give them too much credence for that. Their other wins this season are just the Titans and the Colts, both of those teams with quarterback issues. And now their their defense is facing Kyler Murray for for the Cardinals. This is a guy, hey, he, he's been hot. I, I mean, they just went into San Francisco, won outright against the 49ers. A lot of people think the 49ers might be the best team in the NFL. Well, they just beat him outright as the dog. And Kyler Murray is a guy I'd like to bet on. Um, you know, what, 42-0 and in high school, three state champions, championships, Heisman Trophy winner, offensive rookie of the year. He's had his issues, but I think he's got it together right now. And, I mean, he's just a great overall athlete. When you watch him play, he almost moves at a different kind of speed than everybody else on the field. He's a guy that got drafted in Major League Baseball. I mean, to talk about, you know, a good athlete. Plus, you add on the fact this team overall, the Arizona Cardinals, they've played probably the toughest schedule in the NFL. Now, you can make, you know, NFL scheduling, both college football as well, kind of fit your bill of what you're looking to do. But in terms of the teams that they've played, just go down the list. At Buffalo week one, they played the Rams – that wasn't as beat up as the Rams team as uh, Green Bay just played last week. They played the Detroit Lions. They played the Washington Commanders. We just talked about the Commanders, how hot they are. Then they won on the road and beat the San Francisco 49ers. I think this team's a little bit underrated, guys. I really do. I mean, we catch five points here in our pocket. I think we get the better quarterback. I think they're underrated. Tough strength of schedule here. This is one of their easier opponents. Easier in quotation marks. Hey, we're going on the dog here. Arizona Cardinals. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line. Plus five Cardinals for the video. In recap, talked about the Tampa Bay New Orleans game. We are on the Bucks. Minus three is still out there. And we got the Washington Commanders as the dog as well. Plus seven against the Ravens. That's going to do it for the Sunday show. Smash that like button. Comment below. Let me know where you agree, where you disagree. Your NFL picks all are welcome. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, guys. We'll talk on Monday.